Hey, what's up, everybody? So I got a quick little clip for you, but if some of you actually got through this video, you remember this. Let me show you real quick, and then I'll jump back into what I was going to show you. Okay, let's see what happens we put one inside. Will they do the same thing? Not really. It does, but not quite like this. <laughs> anyway, if you guys haven't seen that, you should go watch it. It's quite funny. But um, this guy, MD Systems, or MDS Systems, he says, what is actually happening here, Russ? Which is actually quite a good, uh, quite a good comment. So I was trying to tell him that the dry ice is a solid gas. And the process, in the process of um, this thing actually um, releasing the gas, it wants to escape and it creates this resonant effect between the pan and the dry ice. It sets up a nice oscillation and depending on what frequency it's ringing at and how fast and how much weight and all these kind of things, all this stuff has happened. But if you noticed in this video, when I put the dry ice inside, it wanted to just sit here. So in this next clip, I'm going to actually show you what happens when you take dry ice and put it on a nice big block of stainless steel. So let's have a look at that. All right, so what you guys are actually looking at here is a a big chunk of stainless that I had almost polished um, and I set a piece of dry ice on there and instead of it hovering it just started bouncing so this is sort of the opposite of the pan bouncing on top of the dry ice now we're getting the dry ice bouncing on top of the stainless here so later we start hovering but at this point it's oscillating and I really don't know what's causing it to oscillate if it's purely just the weight or something else but at the end of the day it was ringing like a little bell in the in the opposite reaction that the pan was doing but exactly the same thing so you can see it's actually hovering above there and it's um, you know just doing its little dance so we'll watch it for a second until it chills out All right, so as you saw, it, it quit, and then it started again, and then it quit again. And I think part of that is due to the fact that it is sitting against the pencil, and it sort of stopped it. Now, as you can see, it's just floating on top of there. Here, I tried to put some indentions in it with my ring, because I wanted to find out if, um, if that would help for some reason, because that's what it did in the first place. So here we flip it over, and now it's oscillating again. So... I'm not sure if it's sitting against the pencil there. The pencil is just holding it in the right place because otherwise it falls off the edge of the, the stainless steel block. Also, the stainless steel block was getting colder and colder and colder, and that's a pretty big mass of stainless, so that could also have something to do with it. Um, you know, just some fun little thing. And I had some acetone laying around because I was cleaning things, so I dripped a little bit of acetone on there. I kind of wanted to see what would happen. Yeah. I thought it would freeze really quickly, you know, because that um, uh, it's pretty volatile and evaporates pretty fast. So here you can see it's, you know, doing its thing, but it's got acetone covering it. It kind of acts real funny here in a second. By the way, I don't recommend touching dry ice like this, but if you're quick, it doesn't hurt you. But it will burn you, freeze or burn you. Kind of spitting out the acetone. Anyway, that's it. That's really all this video is about. I just kind of wanted to... Uh, I don't know. I didn't want this clip to go to waste. I thought it was funny and it's relevant to what we just uh, did in that previous video with my kids screaming like 
little children just wild and having a lot of fun. But here the acetone is just, uh, it's just, it's so, it's, it's kind of, you know, it's so volatile, but it's just warming, warming that, uh, dry ice up so fast. Anyway, God bless, have a good day. That's it for now. See ya.